Hi everybody, how's it going? I hope that today finds you well. For those of you new here, hi, my name is Donna. So happy that you found me, so glad to have you here, and I hope that you like it enough that you'll wanna stick around. Uh, for those of you not near here, not near here, not near here. <laughs> for those of you not new here, thanks so much for continuing to come back. You all know I love you, you all know it. Today I am doing my empties for the month of April, and you all know I have a ton. I, I have a ton, a, a literal ton. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in watching, please stick around. I do uh, little tiny quasi rocket fire reviews of all of these items. So I do hope that you'll want to stick around and hear what I have to say about these items. For those of you new, if you are interested in, uh, you know, having a friend out there that's going to tell you, you can do what you want, do what makes your heart happy, wear the crazy colors on your face, wear the crazy colors in your hair, dress the way you want to dress. Who cares about how old you are? I am your all things colorful makeup and self care guru not a guru, for the over 40 crowd, because I'm going to be your perfect partner in crime that's going to tell you, you do what you want. You do you, boo, because it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. You do what makes your heart feel fulfilled and happy and speaks to you in a way that soothes your soul, because that's what I'm here doing. So if you are looking for a partner in crime, you have come to the right spot. I hope that you enjoy it, and I would be happy to welcome you into my family. With that being said, let's jump into these empties, because there's a whole ton of them here. And first things first, this guy. <laughs> Those of you not new here, this has been around a while. You know that this is my favorite. This is the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. I do clean my brushes after every single use. I do get a lot of use out of this. I do purchase one of these every single Sephora sale. I will continue to repurchase this item. It is by far the best in interim makeup brush cleaner that I have ever found. It's quick drying. You can use it and then use your brushes, brushes, brush is right away and it kills almost 100% of bacteria that you're going to find on your brushes. So best makeup brush cleanser. I will buy it over and over and over again. I did have this Ren Pure Lavender Mint Dry Shampoo. This is in Cool and Revived and this I did get from TJ Maxx for $5. And there's probably a reason why it was at TJ Maxx for $5. This does absolutely nothing. This is nothing. It says it removes oil and dirt. I don't believe it. It says it has a matte finish, clean look and feel. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything to help your hair get from shampoo to shampoo. And for those of you new here, I only wash my hair once a week because of the crazy colors in my hair and I need a damn good dry shampoo and this just isn't it. I will not purchase this ever again. I don't care what the price is. I do have a skincare item here, the Sunday Riley. My goodness, I can't even speak today. I should just stop. I do have the Sunday Riley CEO. This is my favorite moisturizer. I think I have between this and the Paracone MD that I'm currently using that you guys will probably see in next month's empties. This is my favorite. This is also one ounce or 1.7 ounces of product. So you get a ton of product in there. I could probably scrape what's left down there out and get, you know, a half a use out of it. Maybe I'll scrape what's left down there out and mix it with my Paracone that I'm currently using. But I love this. And this product is actually what made me fall in love with vitamin C in my skincare because I can drastically see a difference in my skin when I am using this product. So I've never repurchased it, but I do get it in subscription boxes from time to time. So this is the second bottle that I have used of it. I would repurchase it if I needed to, but I swore myself to a skincare no buy because I have a ton of stuff over there that I need to get through before I'm allowing myself to buy more. I would repurchase it, but I just haven't yet. This is the hand in hand sugar scrub in lavender. It's supposed to exfoliate and brighten. And I did give this to my daughter and she barreled right through it. I got this in a fab, a fab fit fun. I don't know when, like a long time ago, you know, I used it and I hated it. It made my skin feel kind of waxy almost. And I, I just hated it. My daughter, my little nine year old girl, she loved it, loved it so, so much. I can't stand it. She was like, this is gone. And I'm like, cool beans, put it in my empties bin. And she goes, okay, can you get me some more? And I'm like, no, I'm, I'll find you something else to use, but not that. That is icky. I think it's gross. Just saying. Next thing I have is this. It is a blender um, cleanser solid from Beauty Blender. And you know, you guys, I love these things. I did buy a backup. I already have started using it. I love these for cleaning my sponges. It's just super easy to pop open the cap, run your scrubber, your sponge through the soap and rinse it clean. And it does a darn good job. I've heard that there are some other, you know, YouTubers out there that use it for their brushes. And I think that that is solid. That's a solid reason to use this, but I use it for my sponges. I would repurchase it for sure, but I do think that there's probably cheaper options that you can purchase out there. 
Um, so some of this is also going to be a spoiler to what's to come in my shop my stash but also in my project pen update that doesn't happen for another month but I did finish quite a bit. This isn't from my project pen or my shop my stash but I did finish this CoverGirl Lash Blast Amplified Primer. I did just record a haul. My aunt got me another one. She's the one that got me this one in the first place and I really kind of fell in love with this lash primer. And I know there's a lot of people out there that don't think that lash primer is necessary but for me I have one set of eyelashes that curls up and looks beautiful and bold and long and full and then one set that sticks straight out. I need a lash primer. So I love this lash primer. I love that the wand is like this um, nice like pokey wand. It is a white or like cream colored primer. It does go on your lashes cream colored but it dries down clear and then you can put your black or your blue or your whatever uh, mascara on and it covers it completely. It doesn't change the color of the mascara. It's a really great eyelash primer and it's like five bucks. But when it comes to shop my stash and stuff like that this was in my project pan. Actually I think these two items were in my project pan and also therefore in my shop my stash and this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Dewy and this is in the shade um, soft beige. I hate this foundation. I'm so, I've never been more happy that there is an item out of my collection. Well, maybe, maybe I have, but I hate this foundation. I would never repurchase it. I know that this is somebody's favorite out there and I'm sorry if this is your favorite and I'm offending you, but this is the worst, most rancid smelling foundation I have ever, ever had in my life. It oxidizes so, so bad. It looks horrible on my skin. It really just looks like a greasy mess. And I'm super dry skin, so for something to look like a greasy mess on my face, it really has to be bad. And I just, I just don't like it. I don't care how cheap it is, I would never repurchase it. If it's your favorite, more power to you. What am I doing wrong? If it's not your favorite, if you agree with me, put a big old fatty heart down in the comment section because I, I think I'm alone in this. This is the Hula Quickie Contour Stick by Benefit. I loved this. And you guys, I <laughs> dug that stuff out. This was also in my project pan. This was also in my shop, my stash, because it was in my project pan. I used the poop out of this thing and would repurchase it in a heartbeat. I do have some contour sticks that I'm going to try and use at first before I go back to it, but I really did like this. I would say that at first I used it as a contour stick because that's what it says it does. But I think it's more warm toned. It's like a bronzer. I think it's more warm toned and I liked in the end to use it as a bronzer more than a contour stick because as you blend it out, it, I mean, it might look very gray tone. I mean, in the camera it doesn't, but it might look very gray tone when you first look at it, which is what you want in a contour is to have a little bit more of that gray tone to it. It actually is a very, very warm tone when you start blending it out. I did love it. I would repurchase it, but as a cream bronzer, not a contour stick. And the next thing I have in here is this. This is the box for the lashes that I'm currently wearing. I hold on to the boxes for quite some time until I think that I am not going to be able to wear those lashes again. Maybe this isn't the box for the lashes I'm currently wearing. What lashes am I currently wearing? I look really pale. I can't remember what lashes I'm currently wearing. I don't think that they're these, but these are the House of Lashes Iconic Lights. You guys look at my lashes. Tell me if they're the Iconic Lights by House of Lashes. I can't remember. Y'all know that I'm trying to be a lash girl. I do like these House of Lashes lashes. I think that they're stunning lashes. What I would say about the, the ones that are light, so I've had these ones in the boudoir lights, I don't think that they're necessarily um, the kind of lashes that lash girls would like because they are a little less in your face than a lot of other lashes are by House of Lashes. So this is the like drilled down version of their big bouffant lashes. I like them um, and I think most of the reason why I like them is because I'm new to this lash thing. I, I haven't mastered it. I'm not doing super well. This one I think is actually falling off at this moment in time but um, I'm trying to be a lash girl and those are great lashes to play with and get used to and um, get the feel of being a lash girl with. Would I repurchase them? You know, I just am not into lashes enough to spend, I think, the 20 bucks that they want for these lashes. I go to TJ Maxx and get me a set of $4.99 lashes that are from God knows where and call it good. But I mean, I like Ardell's. Like, that's what kind of lash girl I am right now. I have to imagine that if I were a more bougie lash girl, then I probably would not like those lashes and would not purchase those lashes, but I would purchase their bigger, more bouffant lashes for sure if I was a little bit more bougie lash girl. So for some scents, I do have this. This is a Wallflower by Bath & Body Works. This one was in Japanese Cherry Blossom. It's not bad. It's not one of my favorite scents, if I'm honest. Um, the notes for the Japanese Cherry Blossom are Japanese Cherry Blossom. 
<laughs> um, mimosa petals and sandalwood. I probably would repurchase it just because it was a nice subtle scent, but it, it wasn't one of my favorites by any means. My daughter just started working at Bath and Body Works, so I'll start having her pick me up some stuff with her discount, and I'm so, so excited about that. Then I have this, which is one of the Homeworks candles that you can pick up at Ulta Beauty. This one was in Spun Vanilla Sugar, you guys. This smelled good upon lighting it the first time, but then it just got so sickeningly sweet. I like a sweet scented candle. This one here is like butterscotch cookie or something like that. I like a sweet smelling, can a smelling candle, but this one was so sweetly smelled that it would make me physically ill. Like I couldn't be in this room for very long. I would repurchase it, but maybe in a, like a single wick <laughs> version so that there wasn't so much of it. What I would say though is that this lasted, so Bath and Body Works candles, one of the reasons why I love them so much, and I didn't even discover them until last year, but one of the reasons I love them so much is because they're scented all the way through. You can smell the scent that that's supposed to be all the way through burning that candle. And you could also do that with this one. I felt like this one also was scented all the way through and I love that. They are $25. I think that if I'm going to spend $25 on a candle, I would probably spend that money on the Bath and Body Works ones because I know I love them and I know what their scents are and I know that I'm not going to get sick of it. There is more. I feel like there is more in here. Obviously, it's a it's a lot bigger around, but you can also get them two for two for 40. So that's amazing. So then I also have this, which is one's also in my project pan. This is the Living Proof TBD Multitasking Styler. I do think that they revamped this and now it's like the PhD system. I liked it, but also didn't. I happen to think Living Proof items smell like pepper and it takes a minute for me to get past that. This one I think smelled less like pepper than the stuff in the gray, the stuff in the this color. I, I mean, it, it was a multi-styler. I didn't really find it to be spectacular. I also didn't find it to be awful. Would I repurchase it? No, because I've looked it up and you can't buy it this way anymore. You have to buy the gray, the light gray, and I think it smells like pepper. So there's that. I am getting rid of this. This is a Bosha Matcha Magic Super Antioxidant Mask. These are masks that you have to put on with a paddle and then wash off. Um, for those of you new here, I hate these kind of masks. They make a giant mess. This one I hated so much. It's it's now like completely dried up in there. So I'm getting rid of that. It was used quite a bit, but I'm getting rid of it. This was also used and it came to me through my sample series. This is the It Cosmetics Miracle Water 3-in-1 Tonic. Not fantastic. I ended up using it to stick like my Q-tips into to clean up makeup messes on my face when I was doing my eyeshadow and whatnot because I just don't, I'm just not a huge fan of It Cosmetics, if I'm honest. I love their eyeliner. That's my favorite item from them. Their brushes are amazing. I hate their skincare. It does nothing but break me out almost every single one of them. Their foundation, I feel the same way about. Um, I have these two in here and I also have this in here. So this is in here to remind me that there are actually four single eyeshadows that I went through. Two of them are actually because they broke, um, but two of them are because I actually went through them. This is Sydney Grace's Ice Mocha. That's what was in this one. And Ice Mocha is a really pretty like just base color and I used it, I can't even hold on to that thing. I used it quite a bit. Um, this one was a highlight by Sienna. It's something that I got in Nipsey. So uh, there are remnants of it in there. I did try and clean it out as best I could, but I used it a lot for my brow bone, um, for my inner corner because it's in a small teeny tiny pan, but I also used it as a highlight. So it was super easy to blow through that. This is from Mellow Cosmetics. If you guys um, watched my unboxing, if not, I'll stick it up in the cards for you. But if you watch my unboxing, you know that I am an I've got an affiliate code with Mellow Cosmetics. I'll, it's down in my description box always, but I did order some stuff from them. I still pay money for it. Like I'm not getting my items for free. It's not PR or anything. So I did order some product from them and one of the baked shadows came shattered. So I was like, oh, that's so sad. It's such a beautiful color. So what I did when I emptied those two shadows is finally had some little pans to put that shadow into if I repressed it. So this one, I can't remember what was in this pan. It was a single eyeshadow from some no-name brand that was again sent to me from Ipsy. I cannot remember who it was from, but this one was Sydney Gray's Turtle Bay. Both of these shattered. Turtle Bay was the saddest moment in my life. It was a very pretty army green color and I really quite loved that shadow. 
I'll have to order it again if it's even available anymore. I don't know. I haven't been on Sydney Grace's website in forever. But this Mellow Cosmetics shadow then went into these two pans. I also have this brush because I can't use it anymore. I did try and glue this guy back together and it just doesn't want to stay glued. So that's in there. I love Lexi brushes and that is a Lexi brush. So then I have um, two face masks that came out of my sample series as well. This is the P Patchology Smart Mud no mess detox mud mask which i loved and i will put that simply samples up in the cards as well so you guys can go watch my thoughts on this video um or on that uh sample as well as this one this is the main fit beauty planner mask it's in lily whitening and brightening i didn't find that this did anything for my skin and i actually also i think that it broke me out i actually also didn't didn't find that it fit my face which is I've got a big fat head, I know that I do, but the bane of my existence is masks not fitting my face, so there's that. And then the last thing I have in here is this, which is a sample of the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Perfecting Foundation. And you guys, I wanted to love this so, so bad, but I actually was just not impressed with this foundation. I felt like I had to use way too much of it. I didn't feel like it covered very much, and I feel like for $68, which is what you're gonna pay for one ounce of this foundation, I wanted more from it. So with that being said, that's all I got for you guys. That is my empties. What did you guys empty in May, April? What did you guys empty in April? I would be interested to know. Please let me know down in the description or down in the comment section. I would love to hear from you guys down there. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that if you did, you're considering subscribing even before you go. I also hope you're considering giving it a big thumbs up. It really does help our channels out here. And you know, that's all. That's all I got for you cookies. So I hope you all are well. I hope 2021 is treating you kindly. I hope that you all are loving each other, but loving each other from afar. And until next time, bye everyone. <laughs>